guidance. In Psalm 119, 105, it states, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's Psalm 119, 105. As we walk through life, we find ways to increase the distance that we can go. We may run far and fast as we achieve our way to the next best opportunity. The question is, what is next? What directs our path? The question, now what, will dictate our speed. We desire more and let life's opportunities guide our steps. If we invite God into our conversation, we ask for a two-year forecast or a five-year plan or whatever it may be. We want him to reveal a clear and accurate picture of life ahead of us so that we can decide whether we want to take that path or not. But when we go to God for guidance, we need to understand that speed and distance are not his priority. We want headlights to beam and shine very bright so we can know the distance. But God oftentimes gives us a lamp. With lamp, you don't see steps that are far. Because lamp won't shine very, very far. So if we look ahead too far, we may get our move our feet too fast. We may forget who we are walking with. When God guides our steps, we go at the pace that he reveals and allows in our lives. We will be going to the right direction and towards him. And we'll be going the right way along with him. So when we're going with him, he will guide our steps. He will direct us. He will take us down those paths. May not always be the easiest journey in the road that we want to take, but he'll help us and guide us along that way. A simple prayer that you pray is, Lord, as you light the steps of my journey, give me the courage to walk in your ways. Guide me closer as I lean into the plans that you have for my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.